The U.S. Army Corps of Topographical Engineers, authorized on 4 July 1838, consisted only of officers and was used for mapping and the design and construction of federal civil works such as lighthouses and other coastal fortifications and navigational routes. It included such officers as George Meade, John C. Fremont and Stephen Long. It was merged with the United States Army Corps of Engineers on 31 March 1863, at which point the Corps of Engineers also assumed the Lakes Survey District mission for the Great Lakes. In the mid-19th century, Corps of Engineers officers ran lighthouse districts in tandem with U.S. naval officers. In 1841, Congress created the Lake Survey. The survey, based in Detroit, Michigan, was charged with conducting a hydrographical survey of the northern and northwestern lakes and preparing and publishing nautical charts and other navigation aids. The Lake Survey published its first charts in 1852. Topic. Significance. William Getzman has written Topic. Major expeditions prior to the Corps' creation In all, there were six major expeditions into the Louisiana Purchase, the first of course being the best-known Corps of Discovery led by Lewis and Clark in 1804–1806. A second expedition in 1804 included astronomer and naturalist John Dunbar and prominent Philadelphia chemist William Hunter. This expedition attempted to follow the Red River to its source in Texas, then controlled by Spain, but turned back after three months. In April 1806 a second Red River expedition was led by Captain Richard Sparks and included astronomer and surveyor Thomas Freeman and Peter Custis, a University of Pennsylvania medical student who served as the expedition's botanist. The group of 24 traveled 615 miles up the Red River before being turned back by Spanish authorities. President Thomas Jefferson hoped that this expedition would be nearly as important as the one led by Lewis and Clark, but the interruption by Spanish authorities prevented this hope from being realized. In 1805-1806, Lieutenant Zebulon Pike was ordered by General James Wilkinson, governor of the Upper Louisiana Territory, to find the source of the Mississippi River. In 1806-1807, President Jefferson ordered Lieutenant Pike, on another expedition, to find the headwaters of the Arkansas River and Red River. This is better known as the Pike Expedition. Spanish forces arrested Pike and confiscated his papers, but assigned a translator and cartographer to translate Pike's documents. In 1817 Major Stephen H. Long explored the Upper Mississippi River, selecting sites for Fort Smith on the Arkansas River and Fort St. Anthony at the confluence of the Minnesota and Mississippi. In 1819, President James Monroe and Secretary of War John C. Calhoun ordered General Henry Atkinson to lead what became known as the Yellowstone Expedition. One objective was to eliminate British influence among the Native American tribes in the region. Nearly 1,000 soldiers were transported by five steamboats up the Missouri River to the Mandan villages at the mouth of the Yellowstone, where they built a fort. This was the first known use of steam propulsion in the West. At some point between 1849 and 1892, Lieutenant Colonel Graham was sent to replace the Delaware Maryland Pennsylvania Tri State marker, but misplaced it. Topic. Major expeditions by the Corps Joseph Nicholas Nicolette, assisted by 2nd Lieutenant in the Corps of Topographical Engineers, John Charles Fremont, conducted a reconnaissance of the region of the Upper Mississippi River and Missouri Rivers in 1838 and 1839. Boundary Survey of the Border with Republic of Texas 1841-42, by Major James Duncan Graham. 
later discovered lunar tides in the Great Lakes in 1858–59. Fremont conducted expeditions over the Oregon Trail to the Columbia River and to California during 1842–1846. During his third expedition, Fremont detached Lieutenants James W. Abbott and William G. Peck in August, 1845, at Bent's Fort on the Arkansas River to survey Purgatory Creek and the Canadian and False Washita Rivers. Boundary survey of the Canada-U.S. border 1844-46 led by William H. Emery. Military reconnaissance from Fort Leavenworth in Missouri to San Diego in California, including part of the Arkansas, Del Norte, and Gila Rivers. By Lt. Col. W. H. Emery, made in 1846-7, with the advanced guard of the Army of the West, led by Brigadier General Stephen W. Kearney. Boundary Survey of the Borders with Mexico, United States and Mexican Boundary Survey 1848-1855 led by William H. Emery. Lorenzo Sitgreaves led the first topographical mission across Arizona in 1851. Pacific Railroad Surveys, which consisted of five surveys to find potential transcontinental railroad routes. These survey reports were compiled into 12 volumes, Reports of Explorations and Surveys, to ascertain the most practicable and economical route for a railroad from the Mississippi River to the Pacific Ocean, made under the direction of the Secretary of War, in 1853-4. Volumes I-12, Washington, Government Printing Office, 1855-61, the Northern Pacific Survey followed between the 47th Parallel North and 49th Parallel North from St. Paul, Minnesota to the Puget Sound and was led by the newly appointed Governor of the Washington Territory, Isaac Stevens. Accompanying Stevens were Captain George B. McClellan with Lieutenant Sylvester Mowry out of the Columbia Barracks from the West and Lieutenant Rufus Saxton with Lieutenant Richard Arnold out of St. Marysville from the East. There were two Central Pacific surveys. One followed between the 37th Parallel North and 39th Parallel North from St. Louis, Missouri to San Francisco, California. This survey was led by Lt. John W. Gunnison until his death at the hands of a band of Pavants in Utah. Lt. Edward Griffin Beckwith then took command. Also participating in this survey was Frederick W. Von Aglofstein, George Stoneman and Lt. Governor K. Warren. Beckwith, subsequently explored the second Central Pacific route near the 41st parallel. This was the route subsequently closely followed by the Central Pacific and Union Pacific to complete the first transcontinental railroad. There were two Southern Pacific surveys. One along the 35th parallel north from Oklahoma to Los Angeles, California, a route similar to the western part of the later Santa Fe Railroad and to Interstate 40, which was led by Lt. Amiel Weeks Whipple. Joseph Christmas Eyes, Whipple's assistant, led the expedition that explored and mapped the Colorado River to the mouth of Las Vegas Wash. The southernmost Southern Pacific Survey went across Texas to San Diego, California, a route which was later followed by the Southern Pacific Railroad which completed the second transcontinental railway in 1881. This survey was led by Lt. John Grubb Park and John Pope. The fifth survey was along the Pacific coast from San Diego to Seattle, Washington conducted by Lt. Robert S. Williamson and John G. Park. Exploration of the Colorado River of the West by Lt. Joseph Christmas Eyes, 1858-59. Boundary Survey of the Borders with Canada, the Northwest Boundary Survey, 1857-61. Topic. See also Army Geospatial Center Topic Further reading Frank N. Schubert, The Nation Builders, A Sesquicentennial History of the Corps of Topographical Engineers 1838-1863 A History of the U.S. Topographical Engineers, 1818-1863 Part 1 
U.S. Corps of Topographical Engineers website, quoting from Beers, Henry P. A History of the U.S. Topographical Engineers, 1813-1863, 2 pts. The Military Engineer 34, June 1942, pp.287-91 and July 1942, pp.348-52. Retrieved 6 August 2011.